could mean as many as 125 people survived. It would also mean, if memory serves me, this is the second worst domestic single plane air crash in history. The plane hit about a half mile from the runway. It bounced twice, landed upside down, and burst into flames, as you just saw. This flight was bound to Philadelphia from Denver with a stop at O'Hare in Chicago. In Airlines Flight 232 crashes on the runway in Sioux City, Iowa, as the story breaks, including eyewitness accounts from survivors. As news of Flight 232 continues, so does the coverage from the leaders in breaking Channel 7. Spread over an area close to a mile long. Investigators said it was the biggest crash site they'd ever seen. But the site, the radio reports of the pilot, and the recollections of survivors have already begun to yield clues. Parts of it were found in a farmer's field miles away. After he regained control of the aircraft, pilot A.C. Haynes then radioed his problems were getting worse. Investigators have found three engines at the crash site, and with them have found another clue. The type of engine used in this DC-10, a General Electric model, has had some problems in the past with partial disintegration of its fan section. In a grim sweep through mud and field corn an inch at a time, National Guard troops today searched for more bodies, crash victims still unaccounted for at the Sioux City. Investigators, witnesses and survivors today are calling it a miracle. How a jumbo jet packed with nearly 300 people can crash land in a ball of flame. And more than half live to tell about. Some are attributing Flight 232's survival rate in part to clear weather, soft rain-swollen ground, and the airport's high state of...